We just use the russet potatoes for our gnocchis. I grew up in Idaho, and then I fished in Alaska for nine years. I moved to New York in 93. I ended up cooking. My cooking career was going okay, and so I thought, I'm ready to start my own place. People said that they would back me or help me source out, just get into something, and, and so I got into something, and the economy went to shit, and nobody showed up. Like, we didn't have any money when we opened. Somehow I got a loan from a credit union in the Bronx that saved us in the 11th hour. A lot of people sat around and watched me drown, and at that point I was like, you know what? If I go down, I just go down on my own. I'd rather just not make any money and feel good about what I'm doing. Mm. My name is Cal Elliott, and I'm the chef owner of Rye Restaurant in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Rye does simple American food. Try to be market driven, driven by the seasons. Every dish makes sense here. Food that you recognize, and it makes you feel good, and full, and satisfied. I hate to say comfort food, because that gets thrown around, and you just think mac and cheese or something and it's a lot more involved in that. I think we do duck really well, but we always play with it. Like sometimes I serve it with curried lentils, different marinades. We finish it with a little curry butter. We do everything in house, so we try to take care of the product. The meatloaf is veal, pork, beef, and then we always have duck scraps. We have all the duck tenders, so we grind those up. It basically ends up almost like a terrine once you slice it. It offers somebody an easy out. Like, you don't have a lot of money, but you're going out with the six top of friends. You're like, oh, I, I just get the meatloaf sandwich. I'm not interested in just cooking for rich people. And if someone can come and enjoy the space that doesn't have the money, uh, enjoy a nice meal, I'm all for it. We don't have the resources to really like just work on a dish for like three months and then be like, ta-da, here we go, here it is. So everything's kind of a, a work in progress. It's assumed that I'm supposed to have more thought behind things, but things are really just like, oh fuck, I've never had a scotch egg, so let's make a scotch egg. It was an egg wrapped in sausage deep fried. I was like, what? who doesn't want that? And then you make it, and you're like, oh, it's good, but I'm like, oh, it would be good with this, and then all of a sudden it's good with that, and the Mornay sauce. Cheese on your deep fried scotch egg, like, of course. And it's perfect bar food. I mean, I guess it's interesting to see your food on a plate in the dining room, but when you cook it every night on your day off, it's like I'm constantly eating butter and rich food, and then I would just rather go out when I go out and eat simple food. No fair, you guys are ahead of me. We good job. We ready? Yeah, Chuck and I are sick, man. We want some sake and some noodles. We went to Samurai Mama's on Grand Street. Who's the mama behind it? I don't go out very often. When I do, I prefer to go out to places like Samurai Mama where Makoto is another chef owner. You know that you're supporting the neighborhood, you're supporting someone who's put their life on the line. In this neighborhood, it's, there's a restaurant that opens every day and it's not easy. It makes it feel like a community, which is why I opened a restaurant where I live. Awesome. One of our old employees, Song, is the manager there now. She actually dates Chuck. It's nice to go somewhere where you feel like people actually care a little bit about you. Cheers. <laughs> I usually come here by myself and sit right here, and nobody bothers me, and it's very relaxing. They got a good lunch special, we'll go out to lunch here sometime. Tough business. Now we use this. Scallion, mm. scallion. This is a deep fried rotus loot. All right, look at that. Yeah, I love eating Japanese food. They season dishes differently. They might put something bland with something overly salty, so you make sure that you have to have it all together. A scallop and sea artin are from Hokkaido. This is a sea artin paste. This is pretty salty, so this works as sauce. You know what? I'm sure cow love this dish. So this is for the present from me, the cow. 
All right. It's what is yummy. that thing? Oh, nice. Thank you so much. You see how food makes everybody happy. We were all uncomfortable before. Oh my God, that looks delicious. I'm raw dog in the tempura. I'm gonna bear back the, uh, the squash. <laughs> <laughs> Siobhan, you must love this because they give you a little everything. You love I that. I know, I love that. That was great about going somewhere where you know people, they just send stuff out. I really enjoy that when people kind of leave it in your hands because you, you get to give them dishes that you feel good about. A lot of pride and all of that. Mama's gyoza. This is a secret water. Oh, the dumplings, nice. Do you know what this stuff is? Because this stuff is delicious. I need to learn how to make that because that is the best thing in the world. That's curry udon, seafood curry udon. Thank you. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having such a good time. I am. I might need you to stick your thumb up my ass so I can get some of this out so we can go to the next place. <laughs> it's funny, we spend a lot of time together, but the three of us don't. We rarely, I think we've been out once, the three of us together, and you need to alleviate stress. And going out is a really nice thing to do. I wish I did it more often. We got very drunk at Samurai Mama. We were having some warm sake, I'm a little under the weather. Then the shots didn't really go with anything we were doing other than helping us enjoy the meal. Song, you want a shot? Thanks for having us. Ah, delicious. I guess they didn't have proper shot glasses, so it was like a flute of champagne shot. We had like four four out shots. No one was keeping up. I think I was the only one that was throwing them down by the end of it. Say hello to Lisa. Hello, Lisa. Did you just hypocrite me? She tried to stop me, but I wasn't having it. You have to go back and cook, so just letting you. Oh, fuck, I have to cook. The whole staff is gonna be wasted. It's gonna be just like Christmas party, and then I gotta do it. Um, Bullshit. Thank you, guys. Everything thank you. delicious. Man. Thank you. After Samurai Mamas, we came back here so I could cook for everybody, which was pretty hilarious. Oh man. Can I just tell everybody, we had the best meal at Samurai Mama's. Oh my God. If you guys have never had a barrel of cabbage, it's delicious. You're coming in. You have to come inside. Yeah, don't you dare not come inside. Man, this is like, everybody's still here. Still here, yeah. They lay down tan roots and they stay. Right, that's fucking right. You can't like get drunk and eat by yourself. Everybody's about to go home and it's like three o'clock and then you're there till five in the morning. Those nights you don't get back, like they're just the best. So if it wasn't humbling enough to go eat beautiful food at Samurai Mama's, we came back here so I could burn grilled cheese. We're gonna grill some cheese, make some grilled cheese sandwiches. So basically we're gonna see how this goes because we're all guinea pigs. This is one of those things like this sandwich has been in my head. I've never tried this at all. We have gray shore rib. To me, this would be a delicious grilled cheese. I was thinking about that sandwich for brunch, actually. I mean, it's like the most kick-ass patty melt you could get. I thought it would be easy to make a sandwich. Turned out to be a little more trying than I thought. I was wasted, and I'm like, everybody's going to get a grilled cheese which was fucking ridiculous. Like, immediately I had too many pans going. I thought I'd turn that off. I turned it up. That's gonna be a disaster. Let's see a secret to drunk cooking. Don't be drunk. <laughs> so, any imperfections in this sandwich is like 100% to do with the cook. I didn't follow the steps because I drank too much and I didn't give a fuck. And that's cooking 101. Every step of the way, you have to care. And one step you skip, you end up with what we have tonight, which is a piece of shit. <laughs> no, you, you my friend, man, Milton. This guy, Gladys. Gladys and I have worked together eight years, Milton and I 12 years. 
You know how you know these guys are awesome? Because they came to save me. They're like, I know he's gonna fuck everything up. And they came to save me. Yours is burnt. <laughs> It's a good sandwich, though. Cheers, man. Thank you so much. This guy's awesome, by the way. Oh, dude, you got a fucking hit right there. What the fuck? Did you get that? I tried to go right, and he went left. I mouthed him, I mouthed him. That was like a bad pick and roll. Ah, ah. What the fuck? Man, I'm going to talk to Elizabeth, I talk to her, I don't care. I don't think my wife's going to like that. I need your money. She's not like three things. One, he makes money. He knows how to make money. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. cook food, he knows how to make money.